we are about to board the newest, biggest cruise ship in the world, the Wonder of the Seas. This thing is so big, it has 18 decks, and to get from the top all the way to the bottom, you can take a slide. Oh my gosh, they are shaking. They even have water slides. This thing is so big. Walked into a shopping center, Steve. This is a mall, not a cruise ship. So there are 20 restaurants on this ship, and I don't know how we're gonna see them all. And yes, this is a dessert. Hey, we're Stephen, Jess, and Hunter, a little family from Australia who just completed our massive dream of driving around our home country of Australia in a little van. So after a year of living in our tiny home, we packed up our life into suitcases and jumped on a one-way ticket to Europe. With our first stop, Italy. <laughs> so our seven night Mediterranean cruise leaves right here from Rome, the capital of Italy. But uh, don't let the brochures deceive you. The port is actually an hour away. So we've got a bit of a trek to do. First of all, we need to make our way down to the port. I uh, forgot how small the elevators in Europe are. So to get to the port from Rome, it's about two hours on the train, 50 minutes on a transfer. Yeah. Oh, can you do this? Say hip hip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This thing is so big. I see people already in the pool. Do you see them? Mommy. Oh yeah. Hunter. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be so good. It's like we've got to walk into a shopping centre. <laughs> we've walked into a shopping centre, Steve. This, this is the mall, not a cruise ship. <laughs> Okay, before we go see our rooms, we're on a cruise. We need to go see everyone's favorite bit, the buffet. This is amazing. Oh my God. They've got like a whole vegetarian section there, Steve. Look at all this bread. Is it a lot of bread? You want some of that? Let's have a look. spots the celebratory cupcakes. Okay, Hunter, you can have a little bit. A little cupcake and some fruit. Are you so happy? Seeing as we're still in Italy, may as well have one more little bit of pasta, but the pasta's like a whole pasta station. So you choose the pasta, you choose the sauce, they cook all the veggies or meat that you like, and they cook it all in front of you fresh. And there's like a salad bar. I just made myself a whole sea salad. Okay. No more cupcakes, Papa. Okay, this is the only time on this week that we can say, we skipped breakfast because we knew what we were coming into. <laughs> this is a very good buffet, Steve. Okay, let's see what our room looks like. Ready, one, two, three. Beep. Beep. Go. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. You see, we have a whole couch. We have a whole lounge room. This is so nice. So we booked a balcony room. Amazing. Oh, should we sit down and relax sometimes? So you pull these out. There you go. Then you come sit up here, preferably with a coffee or a cocktail. Ah, oh, nice. We all know what's about to happen. Shoes off. Test out the bed. Off you go. Here we go. One, two, three. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. The jumping has turned into hide and seek these days. Go, 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 go,
you going to count us down? Go! to look what's behind us. <laughs> there is a merry-go-round. I don't think Hunter's actually been on a merry-go-round before, hey? And there is zip lining. It looks so scary, Steve. You have to zip line so high up. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do here. Look at her. Oh, she was so confused. Huh? Does Hunter want to do that? No. <laughs> do you know what Daddy's about to do? Daddy's about to fly. Do you want to watch him? It was so good. <laughs> How have I been on this ship for one hour and I've already zipped one? Did our bags come? I feel like my favourite part about cruising is that we're in this room for eight days, which means we get to unpack. Yay! <sighs> Are we in a little cubby house? And I got green and white and red. Yellow. All right, we're about to sail away, and I feel like we cannot sail away without a couple of cocktails. Caribbean Mule, and the place was called Lime and Coconut, so I had to get the Lime and Coconut. Oh, that's good. It's like a pina colada. Oh, that's good too. Which one do I want? So we've got our cocktails, we are sailing away, and first thing that we are doing is we're gonna watch the show that we've heard all about. It is an amazing water show, and this one is very exciting. Show, show, start the show, 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 start the show. This is so cool, this is the only water show at sea that you can see. I've got high expectations for this one. And we're in the theater right at the back of the ship. There is currently a tight rope walker walking right above our head. Ever, jumping from so high, tightrope walking. That was a really good show, huh? That was a really good start. I didn't know what to expect, but wow. What a unique show to watch on a cruise ship too. Like the stage was water. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mama. Hello, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Night, night. How do you sleep in it? So we've just woken up bright and early and have arrived in Naples and today we're going to two places in Italy that I have always wanted to go to. How is your sleep? Your first night on the cruise ship? What did you dream about? Mm. You dreamt about eating? Yeah. Welcome to the Amalfi Coast. This is a spot we have always dreamed of coming to. So today we decided let's head out on a day trip and check out probably one of the most iconic, most beautiful spots here in Italy. And we found out that they produce a lot of lemons here. Hence why we have some lemoncello. First time trying it. Let's try it. It smells so fresh. Oh, it's stronger than I thought. <laughs> oh, that is good. That would be good as like in a cocktail. <laughs> Maybe oh. not as a shot. Do you want to try a little bit? Put lemon it. chocolate. Um. It was honestly such a stunning drive out here from Naples as we slowly drove through the city to just be presented with these little towns on sheer drop cliffs. It's so cool. It's made me definitely want to come back here and stay here, but it's definitely made me realize that we are never driving here. The roads are crazy, but wow, what an amazing drive. Today definitely shows why you go and see the major cities like Rome but also the beauty of the country is far away especially in this case along the coastal towns so cool how they've just built these buildings into the side of the mountains look how big that lemon is it's the size of your head Baba. Wow, thank you. Look at this. Yeah. when in Amalfi 
You want the blue spoon? Lemon sorbet. Ready? Do you like it? Can mummy try? That is so good for you. You blue? Can you hold this one? Did daddy have an orange? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it so good? Ever had. And also just look at the casual view just behind you. What a place. <laughs> oh. oh no, I feel like I need to get one. Let's see what it looks like. Do you think this size? Yeah, oh, let's see. Size. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, this is oh, so cute. Okay. Yes, we'll grab that, thanks. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, we may have come to Amalfi just to eat, but uh, we ended up being in the bus for I think three hours, was it, because yeah. of the traffic? So we're all a little bit hungry. And of course, we've had dessert first for some reason. And now we're having mains. And I found a little local spot that was selling $2 pizza. And you're ready to see what they consider a slice of pizza. Look how big these are. Fresh, hot margarita pizza. I love Italy. Want a taste on tap? Good one. So we took the bus into the town of Amalfi and Amalfi Coast. And now to head back, we are catching a boat, which I'm guessing is going to be the most beautiful way to see these coastal towns is from the sea. This is going to be such a beautiful afternoon. So we've driven the Amalfi Coast and now we're going to be seeing it by a little boat. You're as warm as the morning, first day of spring. There's a little bit of you in everything. Changing the season, butterflies wings. So this afternoon we are exploring an ancient ruin that I've always wanted to come to. Welcome to Pompeii. Back in 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted and uh, I think you all have heard of what happened here in Pompeii. You guys are probably wondering, Romans, kind of smart people, why would they have built a city so close to an active volcano? Well back then they had no idea it was a volcano because it was green, it was luscious, they just thought it was a mountain, great to grow crops on, and then yeah, the eruption happened. We are Currently walking on the original preserved streets from 2,000 years ago. You can even see the markings of the chariots that would come through this road. Interesting that people stepped on this. So this was the crosswalk. So they built their street starting at the top of the hill and down to the bottom. So then water would flow down to the bottom. And then this here was the crosswalk. So if there was water, you don't get wet. We've just come inside one of the houses and it is so grand. It is two stories. We can see the 2,000 year old paint, incredible columns. I would guess someone was very wealthy that lived here. Can you see like actual paintings? Yeah, I love it. Quick history lesson. What happened is in 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted for three days. And during those three days, ash covered the city and buried the inhabitants within. And then it perfectly preserved it for thousands and thousands of years until an archeologist came by and started uncovering this city. 80 AD was when the Colosseum happened. So a lot happened in history in those couple of years. I don't know about you guys, but when I first heard about Pompeii, I thought it was maybe a city built right around the volcano. And you're like, okay, I can see why that happened but no that's Mount Vesuvius just there that's a decent way away so you can just see how far this ash traveled onto the city so we've done like a little bit of Italy but coming through Pompeii walking around these streets this has got to be the closest to actually walking around feeling like how the ancient Romans lived you can see just how close quarters the streets were walk through the houses see the perfect marble sculptures intact we even saw the ash that covered the city and covered the victims of Mount Vesuvius's eruption I highly recommend you guys put this on your Italy bucket list this place is older than the Colosseum and is preserved so much much better than the Colosseum. This is the biggest day ever. <gasps> Hunter, what's on the bed? Huh? Not, Not in the... your bed, what's on mommy and daddy's bed? What is it? <laughs> is it a bunny? Do you, Do you want to see? Look at it. No feet on the bed. It's just covered in Pompeii. No. Oh, no. Oh. His head fell off. Is it a little bunny? No. He's made of towels, Hunter. <laughs> We've just had showers and washed off all the sweat, all the dirt. We just had the biggest day ever. I think we were the first people to jump off this ship. And I think we were the last to hop on because we just got on 10 minutes ago, had a shower, 
and they've just started to leave. So that was such a big day, but we were able to see two of the biggest bucket list spots that I've been wanting to see here in Italy. And Hunter, oh my goodness, when we got back, she was just covered head to toe in dirt, playing in the rocks. But we are now gonna be watching the sunset and watch this sail away, ready for our next stop. We've decided tonight to come and have a little drink at the Rising Bar and yes, there is a reason it's called the Rising Bar. We are currently rising. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of cool. We go from the fifth deck all the way up to the eighth deck while having a drink. Cheers Steve. Cheers Peppa. Are you ready for it to go? Hunter, are we going up, up, up? We're moving. Look at the floor, we're going up. There are some really fun places to get a drink. You can get a drink from a robot or you can have a drink while you go up three stories. <laughs> I love it. We started in the shopping area, had a drink and just walked outside and now we're in Central Park. Tonight for dinner, we are going to be eating at an Alice in Wonderland themed restaurant. Hello. This is so cool. So the Mad Hatter is leading us down the rabbit hole to dinner. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Right, sit down. What do you think this could be for? So we've just been given our menus and uh, as you can see there is nothing on the menu right now. We have to paint our menu for our food to appear. Alright, let's start my first element with the element of fire and the bird nest. Wow. Ooh. Of ice. Ooh. Popcorn. Ooh. Look at this healthy fruit salad hunter. That's what I said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's already tasted it. The raspberry cotton candy on top. Okay. What are we going to do, Hunter? Watch this. Whoa. And we're going to add it on the top. So, the raspberry cotton candy starts to melt. Oh, there's the fruit salad. With the vanilla ice cream. Ooh. Sugar plus sugar and plus sugar. <laughs> wow. Is it your fruit salad under there? Ta-da. <laughs> oh my goodness, so our entrees have just arrived and of course Hunter's entree, they called it a fruit salad. It's not a fruit salad. It's a bunch of fairy floss and then you lift it up and then underneath reveals a little tiny fruit salad and Hunter is very happy. So each meal is from a different element. So we've got some from fire and some from ice. One is called the bird's nest, look at this. Eggs in a nest. One is shrimp and they said that you need to get the shrimp and then dip it in the spicy sauce. Oh, look at that. Should I go for it? Mm. I think they said this was filled with crab meat. Yeah. Cheers, Steve. Mm, it's like fresh avocado puree with crab meat and then like a crispy wonton. Just a two bite from the bottom. <laughs> it's like pure wasabi. You taste it? What do you think? Do you like it? When your little one is eating a bird's nest for dinner, all right, the next thing we got was a reconstructed caprese salad. And what I think was quite interesting is she said these little balls here, they look like olives, but they're actually liquid. So she said you need to put one in see if it tastes like olive. Oh, that is so weird. It's like, yeah, it tastes like olives. Wow, look at this. Mm. Mm. It's like sweet. It's really interesting. Try one of the olives. My little wobbly water <laughs> even the kids food is interesting like this is hunter's macaroni and cheese and so what we do is we get it and we squeeze the paint squeeze oh. the paint what is daddy eating the paint try it <laughs> <laughs> there it is inside mm. looks good but then the Cheshire got saved my life and now I'm stuck here in this loophole drinking till the time. Me, my bunny, is 
quite late, late for the <laughs> She's just not a loser. A little bit confusing. Right? <laughs> Should I go? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. This has got to be the most unique dish that we've been served so far. It's like iced ouzo or something with caviar. So we have to eat this bit first. Mmm. That is so good. It's like frozen lime. And then underneath is raw tuna served inside a lime. And then she said to put it on the cracker and then eat it. This is my favorite so far. Is it? Delicious. You just wait, Steve. You'll love it. That's so refreshing. That was in a drink. That is so yum. And that just concludes our starters. <laughs> so for our mains, we both went for fish, but two different types of dishes. Look at this, this is so interesting. So it's like a bed of rice with fish, and then on top is this crispy piece of bread. This looks so interesting. I feel like you might like this, Hunter. Rice and fishy. And for you, sir. That is delicious. Wow. So then my dish, uh, my fish came in a plastic bag for a reason. The flavors had been cooked in there for about six hours. So she says the fish should be pretty tender. And I got some potatoes in there. Wow, that's so flavorsome. <laughs> Hunter's goal for the rest of dinner has just been hiding from the Mad Hatter. That's why she's been having to sit on mummy and now she's hiding under the table. Hunter, do you like the Mad Hatter? No. No. Mmm, all the potatoes, so I'm like a tacky meal. Hunter, look at mommy's drink. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a, a smoking whiskey. Wow. It's called the Smoking Rings. Mine's called the Cheshire Cat Cosmo. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. <laughs> We're getting all the desserts, aren't we? It's a mystical mushroom. Wow. Well, you have to wait for it. What do you think? What's happening? It's melting. What do you think's inside? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, I think the best part about this restaurant has to be the desserts. Firstly, how cool do they look? And secondly, how cool are the plates? But Stephen's gone for the forbidden apple. You see what's inside? It looks like the apple from Snow White. I think that might have been what they were going for. It's apple-y, like berry kind of mousse. Ice cream is always my favourite and I think Hunter is enjoying the little mushroom pills. So good. Mm. <laughs>